This video will show you how to replace a carburetor on your Champion open frame inverter. This video can be used for the following models. Always turn off your engine and let it completely cool before working on your unit. Ensure that the engine switch and fuel valve are in the off positions. Remove the spark plug cap and always leave it disconnected while working on your unit. Step 1. Loosen the clips and disconnect the reversal valve pipe from the carbon canister, and disconnect the air cleaner pipe from the back of the air filter. Step 2. Unbuckle and remove the air filter cover, and then remove the four bolts using a Phillips screwdriver or 8mm socket. Remove the air filter, and use a 10mm socket to remove the two bolts holding on the air filter housing. Remove the breather tube from the back of the air filter housing, and remove the 10mm bolt from the rear support bracket to fully remove the air filter housing and any old gaskets. Step 3. Locate the fuel line hose, and loosen the clip with a pair of pliers to disconnect the hose from the carburetor. Step 4. Locate the control unit support bolt underneath the panel, and remove it with a 10mm socket. Then remove only the two upper bolts holding on the control unit cover using a 10mm socket. Fold down the control unit and locate the Molex connector. Then squeeze the locking tab and pull upward to disconnect it. Step 5. Using a permanent marker, mark the choke cable wire near the pinch nut so you can easily reinstall it in the same location. Loosen the cable wire clamp using a 7mm and 8mm wrench. Then remove the choker rod support from the studs and use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the choke cable clamp screw. Then disconnect the choke cable and fully remove the carburetor from the studs. Step 6. Make sure to use all new gaskets and slide the new carburetor onto the studs. Now reverse these steps to reassemble your unit with your new carburetor. Reinsert the choke cable wire and tighten the choke cable clamp screw. Then replace the choker rod support and choke cable wire. Line up your mark and tighten the cable wire clamp. Reattach the Molex connector and lift the control unit back into place. Replace the two upper bolts with a 10mm socket and replace the single bolt at the bottom of the control unit. Reattach the fuel line onto the carburetor and replace the air filter housing. Secure the two inner bolts with a 10mm socket and tighten the rear support bolt. Then replace the air filter, tighten the four bolts, replace the air filter cover, and fasten the clips. Reinsert the breather tube and air filter hose into the back of the air filter housing, and reattach the reversal valve pipe to the carbon canister. Lastly, firmly reattach the spark plug cap. Your new carburetor installation is complete. Always follow the safety guidelines in your operator's manual. And for more help guides, visit the Champion Help Center at help.championpowerequipment.com.